Having learnt my French in the north of France, it's great to be within literally a couple of hours of where I learnt my French. I can hop back whenever I like and that's something I think that Kent students do appreciate. Once they've come back from the year abroad, they can go back fairly easily. Je suis David Hornsby, je suis membre du département de français de l'Université du Kent. There was kind of a life-changing moment really in my first week in my year abroad. I had gone into a little co-op, bought myself a pork chop or something, and the guy behind the counter said, avec ça. Now, avec ça is a French way of saying, would you like something else? But he quite clearly said, ça. And ça means a bucket. Now, why is this guy offering me a bucket? And I think that was the first inkling that I'd had that there was a local or regional accent in the north of France. And the more I began to look into it, the more I saw that there were quite a lot of things that they did differently, not the sort of things that I'd learned at university uh, at all. And I think what I realised was that I was becoming interested in something called sociolinguistics, and I didn't know that existed, because we never had the opportunity to, 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 to study it as part of our undergraduate degree. So I was very keen, obviously, that this would be something that our undergraduates could study at Kent. Sociolinguistics is the study of the relationship between language and society. So the kind of questions I'm asking in my modules are, where do our notions of good French come from? Why do some people speak differently? How did Latin become French? And I think that some people find in their first couple of weeks in the year abroad that there's actually quite a big gap between the French you read and the French that people speak. But from a practical point of view, I think studying sociolinguistics at Kent is a great preparation for the year abroad, and it's fun.